Story a life lesson In a village named Sonpur lived a man named Mohan His son Deepu who was 10 years old never listened to his parents ever Deepu always did the exact opposite of what his parents told him Mohan and his wife Shanti were very sad about this habit of Deepu Father please give me some money Why do you need money son You ask for money every other day. Father, after school all my friends eat something or the other and enjoy a lot of tasty food. Even I want to go with them. How many times do I have to tell you to stay away from outside unhealthy food? Homemade food is going to keep your health proper and will also save money. And Deepu, don't I get food for you from outside often? But father, even I like to roam around with my school friends. I will not give you a single penny anymore. You do not focus on your studies at all. All you know is to waste your time by roaming here and there. You get such low scores in all your exams. Study hard and go away from here at once. Deepu leaves for school in anger immediately. Shanti becomes very sad and depressed after witnessing this. She speaks to Mohan regarding this. He has become very stubborn. He does not listen to anything we say. But if you had given him the money, he wouldn't have left home in anger. I have no problem at all in giving him some money. But if he gets into the habit of unnecessary expenses, then it will prove harmful in the long run, and he will not focus on his studies at all. And the effect of the company he keeps matters a lot in this age. Children do not take too long to go astray, my dear. Hmm, what you are saying is true. I'll definitely talk to him at night. Meanwhile Deepu remains angry the whole day even in his school. He lands up fighting with his friends too. At night when his mother calls him for dinner, "Son, please come and have your dinner now. I don't want to eat." "Oh, you are my sweet son. Come, eat now. I won't eat anything at all. Till I get the money, I'm not going to eat." "Why do you always make a fuss about everything? Whatever we say to you, you never listen to it." What your father says is always for your own good. I don't want to listen to anything. I just want the money. Listen, please give him the money he asked for. After coming back from school, he didn't take a single food. Still not eating. Mohan feels helpless. He has no choice but to give the money to Deepu and then he eats his dinner finally. And Deepu goes to the school next morning happily. Okay, mother, I'm going to school. I do not know how to explain to Deepu that he has to listen to what we say. I don't know what to do with him. I have explained to him lovingly so many times and I am tired scolding him. Sometimes I get so angry with him that I even beat him. Still he does not listen to me. But we have to do something to rectify this behavior, my dear. You do one thing. Make halwa today in the evening and bring it as I tell you to. Bring them in two separate bowls. In the evening when Deepu is returning home from school, Shanti brings halwa in two separate bowls, one for Mohan and the other one for Deepu. I am keeping the halwa here. Please take your own bowl. I will take this bowl. Mohan looks at Deepu and smiles and then he takes the other bowl where there are no almonds visible on the top. But when he starts eating the halwa then there were a lot of almonds underneath the first layer Deepu was eyeing the halwa Father your bowl has so many almonds my bowl has almonds only on the top there is nothing below It was you who chose that bowl for son what can i do in that The next day again halwa is prepared and Shanti brings out halwa from the kitchen in two separate bowls Please take your own bowl from here Deepu quickly picks up one bowl. This time he picks out the bowl without the almonds on top since last time he sees that it had a lot of almonds on the lower layer. Mohan again smiles looking at his son and picks up the other bowl which has a lot of almonds on top. Both of them start eating the halwa. Father, now wait and watch. There'll be so many almonds in my halwa bowl. Yours has almonds only on the top layer. 
<laughs> Mohan smiles listening to his son's statement. Both of them get back to eating the halwa again. Deepu does not get any almonds in his bowl even in the lower layer. Whereas Mohan's bowl is again filled with almonds. Father, there is no almond in my halwa. Whereas your bowl is again filled with almonds. Why so? Son, you chose and picked your own bowl. What can I do in this now? The third day again halwa is prepared and Shanti brings out the halwa from the kitchen in two separate bowls. Please take your own bowl from here. This time Deepu does not pick up any bowl and he asks Mohan. Father, please tell me which bowl amongst these should I pick? This one. Saying so Mohan pushes one bowl towards Deepu which has no almonds on the top. Deepu diligently accepts the bowl and starts eating from it. Father, my entire halwa is filled with almonds. There were almonds on top as well as inside. How did you know there would be so many almonds in this bowl? Because of my experience, my son. Both the days I knew that you were picking up the wrong bowl. And that is why I smiled at you. But had I stopped you, you would not have listened to me. And that is why I did not say anything to you. This halwa is similar to our life, son, and the bowls signify the way we lead our lives. In our childhood, we often fail to distinguish between the right and the wrong and commit mistakes. But slowly as we gain experience, we learn about the ways of life. Please forgive me, father. From now on, I'll always listen to you and mother. Then onwards Deepu stops being stubborn completely and starts obeying his parents always. He always remembers the life lesson Mohan teaches him that day. Slowly and steadily he starts focusing on his studies and he starts scoring well in his exams too. Seeing this Mohan and Shanti become very happy and they completely stop worrying about Deepu's future. So children, from this story we learn the lesson that we should always listen to our mother father and our elders because the life lessons which they give us it always helps us in the long run and also helps us get achievements <laughs>